preparation for this, I watched um, a, a lot of uh, YouTube. I, I looked at all the Oscar and the Academy <laughs> Awards uh, and the Grammys, and I figured out that um, the only way to make what I'm going to say memorable is to have someone come up and say that I shouldn't have gotten the award, that uh, Jay-Z should have gotten the award, uh, or have a wardrobe malfunction, <laughs> or to talk about politics or religion, all of which I'm not going to do. Um, I have to say that I'm uh, quite honored uh, and um, feel like I should retire now. Um, although my children have said that I can't do that yet because they still have school that they want to go to. Um, so I just really do want to um, say how honored I am. Uh, there are way too many people to thank and I'll get some of them wrong and leave someone out and then there'll be a Twitter storm about how I didn't thank someone. So I'm in fact only going to mention two people, probably the people who have, for my academic career, uh, made my life a joy. Probably the two smartest people that I've worked with, Tony Bach and James Tolsky, who uh, make most of the things that I do and the conversations that I have and the work that I do uh, so meaningful and really make, the, make it not work but make it fun. I also want to thank the people at my institution. Uh, I come to these meetings and hear sort of people complain about how their institution doesn't get it and doesn't support palliative care. And I come from an institution that although it has the same budget problems everybody else does, has been just so extraordinarily supportive. My boss, Bushwa Kapoor, and uh, UPMC in general. And finally, I need to thank uh, the group of people that I work with. We had dinner last night, and I asked them come up with a word that I could say here in recognition. I thought it would be like in recognition of the amazing work they do. And so I thought I'd get words like meaningful and dignity. And I got words like diphthong, <laughs> z-dunk, which if any of you don't know is mating a zebra and some other animal. <laughs> Crawfish, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, and the winner was lactation. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what it says about me as their leader, or my, or the team, um, but it made dinner a lot more fun. <laughs> And that probably is sort of the only thing that I would have to say uh, about any of this. And we all go back, I mean, everyone talks about medicines changing and it's hard work and blah, 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 blah. The bottom line of this is that if you can't make it fun for you and the people you work with and your patients and their families and you can't make it meaningful, then this sort of probably isn't what you ought to be doing because the, the burden and all the other stuff you have to go through every day just isn't enough. And so if I would sort of say anything is make it fun and make it meaningful and thank you so, so very much.